Hi everybody, we've come to the end of the school year, so we're all done with quarter staff. And so I figured we should do one final video where we go over one of the more advanced weapons in the SAFD and DAI arsenal, and that is knife fighting. Uh, from what I have been told, in real life, knife fighting is extremely dangerous. Nobody wants to be in a fight against somebody wielding a knife. Um, you're gonna get cut. I've been told that the goal of surviving a knife fight is to avoid being cut in a way that's going to do permanent or lethal damage. So we're often ending up using our free hand as a shield for our body where we're going to get cut, we're going to get sliced and stabbed on that arm and that hand, but that's going to prevent us from taking injuries or wounds in more vital parts of our body and then we can use that to create openings to attack with our knife. Now for this project, you can use anything that you want to represent a knife. It can be a toy fake knife, it can be a butter knife, it can be a piece of wood, it can be a 12 inch ruler, it could be a large pencil, it's whatever you want. Now we can hold the knife several different ways. So we have a standard overhand grip right here with the thumb in line with the back of the knife and the false edge of the blade. We can hold it like this, although I don't really recommend this. You can hold it with your index finger in line, kind of like a surgical scalpel. Or we can even hold it like this, as if we are gripping the ricasso of a rapier between our index finger and our thumb. These are all overhand grips. We can also turn the knife around and grip it underhand, like this. All of those are acceptable ways to hold the knife. Okay, Dante, can you come on out here? Okay, so let's look at some really simple, basic level moves. Um, I'm gonna stand with my left foot forward here, and we're gonna be pretty close in distance here. Now, Dante is gonna do some real basic side-to-side -side attacks. So he's going to attack first, slashing right to left, and then he's going to attack slashing left to right. Okay, go on back. And so first, I'm just going to start by evading. I'm going to be stepping back and to the side and removing my stomach, which is the part of my body that he is attacking. Hey, remember, you're cutting from right to left first. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to evade, and I'm going to evade. And now let's go back. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can use my free hand here to help guide his weapon hand out of the way to help provide some additional assurance that I'm not going to get cut. So he cuts from right to left. I can move his arm out of the way and move his arm out of the way as I do those same evasion moves. Now, the last thing that we can do is we can turn an evasion in a block like this into an attack. So as he attacks, nope, go the other way first. So as he attacks, nice and slow, nice and slow. So as he attacks, I'm going to evade, I'm going to guide his arm out of the way, and then I'm going to slice. And then he can do the other direction. I'm going to evade out of the way, guide, and then follow it up with a slice attack onto the arm. So a little bit faster, it's going to look like this. Right there, and there. And you might not be fast enough to actually cut the arm as it's going past, but it's just a good... Uh, it's an option, and it's a nice thing that you can do to add a little bit more of excitement into a fight sequence. Thanks. All right, so now it's assignment time. I'm going to do a sequence of 10 basic attacks that I would like you to repeat. So first, I'd like you to start standing with left foot forward, the knife gripped in your right hand. Or if you're left-handed, you can do this in reverse. So we're going to start with diagonal cuts. So cut number one is going to start on your right side high and cut down and to the left. That's attack number one. Attack number two is then going to go in the opposite direction. Start high on your left and cut down to the right. Now the knife is on the right side, so we are going to cut diagonally across the stomach from right to left. Three. And then we're going to pronate the hand and cut across the opposite direction for four. So once again, the first four attacks are diagonal right to left, diagonal left to right, horizontal right to left, horizontal left to right. Then we are going to supinate the palm and we are going to thrust right into the stomach for four. 
then we are going to remove the blade and half supinate the hand and stab up towards our partner's left shoulder for six. Now seven is going to be an attack straight down as we twist the blade and cut down for seven. Then for eight, we are going to come back up and now we're going to stab through the other shoulder up here. So let's see that from the top. Here we have one diagonal, two diagonal, three horizontal, four horizontal. First thrust attack, five. Second thrust attack, six. Cut down, seven. And another thrust attack, eight. Now we've only got two more. So from here, we're gonna bring the blade around and now we're gonna do two more diagonal cuts, but this time they're gonna be low to high. First from our right to the left, nine. And then low to high from our left to our right, 10. And that's the complete sequence. So one more time, I'll show it to you from this angle and then from other angles. So here we go. This is the sequence you are going to record and submit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then all the way around nine and 10. Let's take a look at that from some other angles. So this is me facing away from you so that my right is on your right. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna to thrust to the belly five and six, cut down seven, thrust eight, and now bring the blade all the way around and diagonal nine, 10. Now let's take a look at it from the side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it all the way around, nine, 10. So please submit that on Canvas. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful year, and I hope to work again with you in person real soon.